Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Zookeeper, the crazy, demented scientist, was the most disturbing villain for Beast Boy. Introduction This crazed villain was so desperate to find a cure for the virus that he ended up infecting himself and facing unforeseen consequences. We're talking about none other than the Zookeeper, also known as Dr. Samuel Register, is a researcher who is entirely consumed by the thought of the Sakusha virus. He unwittingly infected himself and obtained Beast Boy-like powers. Dr. Register saw the possibility of a universal treatment in a one-of-a-kind therapy that saved Garfield's life. He labored tirelessly to replicate the experiment, gaining the moniker Zookeeper. Dr. Register, unfortunately, was reckless with the Sakusha virus. He became the first and the only adult to have ever been infected with this strange and rare virus. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Exploring His Dark Origins and Cruel Nature Zookeeper is a DC comic supervillain and a nemesis of the Teen Titans and Shazam. Approximately 13 years ago, Dr. Samuel Register was a talented geneticist who commanded the Upper Lamumba Research Center based in Africa. He collaborated with experts Mark and Marie Logan to explore the biodiversity of the local wildlife. He loathed the Logan's boisterous kid Garfield, who is continually causing havoc in his laboratory. He was, and still is, fixated with people referring to him as Dr. Register. Garfield, the six-year-old child of the Logans, came across an uncommon green-capped monkey one day. The animal attacked Garfield and infected him with the Sakusha, an incredibly unusual virus. Mark Logan whipped up a medicine that altered the Sakusha virus, shortening its fatal life cycle. Garfield, on the other hand, experienced the contagious side effects which included green skin and the power to shapeshift into various animals. Register was confident that the Logans had accidentally uncovered the biogenetic missing linkage between animals and humans. Register then went on to try to continue their job after the Logans had successfully healed Garfield of Sakusha. He grew obsessed with the results and butchered animals in experiments that resulted in horrible abnormalities. This gave him the moniker Zookeeper. He then got a job at a federal animal research facility in Tampa, Florida. His employment at the research facility was marred by scandal, which allegations spreading on campus regarding his extreme and unconventional activities. The center refused to accept Register's oddities and fired him. His work quickly caught the notice of Star Labs, who offered Register a job at their San Francisco site. He was put in command of Star, Aberrant, and Alien Disease Program. Register continued to experiment with biogenetics and made several achievements in his quest to overcome the animal-human divide. He finally stole a Sakusha virus sample from a CDC facility and started working on a method to build his own animal army. Register accidentally infected himself with the deadly Sakusha virus during one of his procedures. He started looking for a remedy right away. Register learned that the virus had evolved considerably and had become airborne not long after exposing himself to it. Within a short period of time, every youngster below 13 years of age in the San Francisco region found themselves form shifting into a variety of green-colored animals. As fate would have it, the only other human to escape the Sakusha virus, Garfield Logan was now active as Beast Boy, a representative of the Teen Titans. Logan's biochemistry was changed by the airborne virus, undoing all of its prior effects. He was not green anymore and no longer had the ability to morph into different animals. Logan ultimately tracked Dr. Register and sought him for medical advice. Register's genetic composition had begun to change as a result of the Sakusha side effects. Instead of becoming green like the other victims, Dr. Register became purple. Logan, he assumed, housed the cure to the virus within his cell structure. Therefore, he knocked him senseless with a tranquilizer dart. When Cyborg, the Teen Titan, forced himself into the lab, tackling Dr. Register, he was about to cut Beast Boy apart. Register morphed into a massive snake and took his fight with Cyborg outdoors. Garfield understood that the only way to stop a changeling was to stop another changeling. He reinfected himself with a specimen of Register's stolen Sakusha virus, restoring all of his prior powers. He fought Register on the streets of San Francisco as a big green Tyrannosaurus Rex. With a poison bite, Beast Boy changed into a Sydney funnel web spider and left Register unconscious. He also discovered a way to treat the sick children. Register, like Beast Boy, appears to be immune to Sakusha. The zookeeper is jailed. Looking into the comic book story arc that delve into this twisted supervillain, Dr. Samuel Register makes his first appearance in Teen Titan 2003, issue 13 as the Logan's Companion. In Teen Titans Volume 3, issue 14, 
Sakusha, the rare virus, has mutated and spread through the air, infecting scores of youngsters below 13 years of age. These children are in great danger, and the virus is deadly and causes death after only 48 hours of infection. As an unintended consequence, the virus has reversed the process that gave Beast Boy his abilities and looks. Dr. Robin examines Beast Boy and assigns him to Dr. Samuel Register, a specialist. Garfield recalls Register from his childhood. They debate over whether it was wise to consult the doctor, especially considering his rocky history. But they are running out of options and have no one else to turn to. While in California, the remaining Titans sprint across San Francisco, attempting to apprehend all of the Sakusha casualties who are now stampeding around the city in various animal forms. They hunt down one youngster who has changed into a humpback whale. Meanwhile, Dr. Register comes to St. Luke's and asks for an appointment with Beast Boy in private. He lies to Garfield about wishing to help him when he actually has more selfish, ulterior motives. Ultimately, he pulls some of the skin on his face, revealing purple scales. The actual carrier of the new virus strain is actually Register, and he had some sinister plans up his sleeve. What made him such a powerful enemy of Beast Boy? The zookeeper obtained the power to change his form after being infected by Sakusha, allowing him to take on the shape of any creature on the planet. This enabled him to assume the bodies of snakes, mountain lions, mammoths, Tyrannosaurus rex, and other animals. He is also a carrier of the Sakusha virus, which could be passed on to others, allowing them to briefly obtain the power to transform into animals and have green skin, but they would perish after extended contact. He is a shapeshifter, size manipulator, submariner and also has super hearing, super sight, super smell, and super strength. Conclusion Dr. Register is selfish and malicious, but ultimately his quest to make use of the virus, although selfish, makes him a very interesting character. His abilities and constant purple hue also make him a very unique villain, all things considered. His intelligence and thirst for power are, are evident from his various experiments. This makes one thing very clear to us. This man will stop at nothing and cross every limit to get what he wants. It will be interesting to see if the zookeeper will make any further appearances in future DC comics. We really hope to see him again because we believe that he is definitely a character that cannot be ignored. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.